What is in store for Frontierland at Walt Disney World? Sup guys, it is Michael from Hollow Thrills and today I will hopefully be partially answering just that in episode one of a two-part series of Rebuilding Disney Frontierland Edition. Now, if you are super excited to hear what I have to say, or just want to keep up to date on anything theme parks, please make sure that you are subscribed and have those notifications turned on. And also, while you're at it, go and take a trip down to the description and follow both my Instagram and my Twitter. Now, as many of you may remember, in June of 2020, Disney Park Blog announced the total retheming of Splash Mountain to Princess and the Frog. Since then, there have been very few updates as far as the status of this project. But it got me thinking a little bit. If this were to happen, what would it mean for the future of Frontierland? Now, Frontierland is viewed as Wild West, and I just was kept thinking, how does the Wild West fit into 1926 New Orleans? Newsflash, it doesn't. The American Frontier period ended decades before the timeline of Princess and the Frog, so the entire re-theming doesn't really fit into the theming of Frontierland. So how would we get Frontierland to fit with the theming of A Princess and the Frog re-theme on Splash Mountain? Now, my first thought was the end of Frontierland, meaning they would slightly re-theme it and change the name to something more all-encompassing between the themes of the two areas. Do I think this is going to happen? I don't know, but that's not really the point of this video. If you'd like to hear my ramblings about that a little bit more, please let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video on that. Now to the actual point of this video. It's all about adding something to the existing area around Splash Mountain to help fit the theming a little bit better and give a little help to Princess and the Frog. Now in most cases, if you have a new area, it's most likely going, going to include a new dining experience. Just like in New Fantasyland when they opened up that new area for Beauty and the Beast, there was Be Our Guest. Now I think with this re-theming, we could see a Princess and the Frog themed restaurant open up right nearby. And if you look at the story of Princess and the Frog, there is one restaurant in particular that really stands out, that being Tiana's Palace. Yes, a beautifully themed sit-down restaurant that could also have the possibility of having a quick service window that could uh, serve beignets or other themed uh, treats and stuff like that. But the entire inside of this building and outside would be themed in exclusively to the movie and maybe almost an exact copy as it was seen in the movie. I just think it would look so beautiful with the chandeliers and the, all like the lights. It would be such a marvel to see this at night. Now the menu could have all sorts of traditional New Orleans dishes such as jambalaya and straight from the movie Tiana's Bayou Gumbo. And overall it just seems like a good idea to give a little bit of a help to the new re-theming of Splash Mountain and also make a tiny area for Princess and the Frog in the Magic Kingdom as accompanying restaurants really do well with new attractions. With the idea out of the way, now we have to find a spot for it. Now, looking around the area surrounding Splash Mountain, there is one area in particular that really stood out to me when I was especially walking around Magic Kingdom myself. And that was the area directly to the left of Splash Mountain that includes Golden Oak Outpost, the seating area for that, as well as a Pirate's Adventure. Now, those are two things that are in that area that I don't think many people would miss if they were gone. And it, if you remove those and the little backstage area that's directly behind it, you'd have a massive opening to allow the construction of this new dining experience and allow it to be as themed as you want it to be and have enough room around it for people to still move as freely as they want. Now, you may be looking, going back to the map again, at this little path that goes backstage. Now, that path is for the parades and the cavalcade floats to get backstage. Now, do I think that's detrimental to the construction of this? 
It's important, but I still do think that they'd be able to reroute that path and still make it work in the end and allow this restaurant to still happen. Now, overall, we have the idea, we have the spot for it, we have how it fits with the new theming of this area, and it helps with the continuity issue between this new rethemed area and Frontierland. So overall, I think that this would work really well, and it would also give people a new option for a Disney Dining Plan reservation. But if you think that this should come to the Magic Kingdom, please let me know by leaving a comment down below, and also go down in the comments and tell me what your thoughts about this are. Do you think it would work? Do you think it not wouldn't work? What's your issues with it? What do you really like about it? I would like to know down below. But as always, I'm Michael, this has been Hollow Thrills, and I'll see you guys next time.